History unfolded before our eyes today at Starbase, Texas. In a heart-stopping moment that no one saw coming, SpaceX's seventh Starship test flight achieved what seemed impossible. A perfect launch, flawless stage separation, and then the unexpected. While the world watched in awe as the massive super heavy booster gracefully descended for its second ever successful catch at the launch tower, fate had different plans for the Starship vehicle itself. Seven and a half minutes of pure excellence, followed by sudden silence. That's the story of today's launch that has the entire space community buzzing. From the thunderous ignition of all 33 Raptor engines to the spectacular hot staging maneuver that lit up the sky, this test pushed the boundaries of what we thought possible in spaceflight. But here's what makes this launch truly extraordinary. Despite losing the ship, SpaceX demonstrated capabilities that had never been seen before. The precision required to catch a 230-foot rocket booster using mechanical arms? They nailed it for the second time ever. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the race to make humanity multiplanetary. Today, we're breaking down every crucial moment of this historic flight, from the stunning successes to the mysterious conclusion that has engineers already planning their next move. Let's dive right in. As the morning sun cast long shadows across the launch pad at Starbase, Texas, no one could have predicted how this day would unfold. The massive Starship stood tall against the blue sky, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. This wasn't just another test flight, this was Flight 7, and it would prove to be one of the most dramatic chapters in SpaceX's journey to the stars. At precisely 4.37 p.m. Central Time, the countdown reached zero. The ground trembled as all 33 Raptor engines roared to life, their combined power creating a force that could be felt miles away. The launch team's voices crackled over the communication system, each call out a reminder of the countless hours of preparation that led to this moment. Vehicles pitching downrange, the flight controller announced, their voice steady despite the historic nature of what was unfolding. The massive rocket began its graceful arc over the Gulf of Mexico, pushing against the forces of nature with unwavering determination. Each second of powered flight brought new data, new insights, and new hope for the future of space exploration. But the real drama was yet to come. As Starship approached supersonic speeds, the tension in mission control was palpable. Vehicle supersonic, came the call, followed by confirmation of Max-Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. This was the moment when the forces trying to tear the rocket apart were at their peak, yet Starship pressed on, a testament to the engineering excellence that went into its design. Then came one of the most spectacular moments in rocket history, the hot staging sequence. Picture this, while still attached to the super heavy booster, Starship's own engines ignited in a brilliant display of controlled chaos. The ship's engines burned bright against the backdrop of the booster's exhaust, creating a scene that looked like something out of science fiction. But this was real, happening right before our eyes. The ground teams had been meticulously preparing for what would come next. The launch tower, standing sentinel beside the pad, had undergone rigorous manual checks. This wasn't just about launching a rocket, it was about bringing it back home. The flight director's decision was crucial. They were go for catch attempt. As the booster separated from Starship, cheers erupted in Hawthorne. The crowd's excitement was electric as they witnessed 12 of the 13 gimbling engines ignite for the boost back burn. This wasn't just a test flight anymore. This was a dance between machine and physics, orchestrated by some of the finest minds in aerospace. The boost back burn completed perfectly setting the stage for what would be only the second successful booster catch in history. The massive grid fins, looking almost delicate against the scale of the rocket, guided the booster through its atmospheric re-entry. Each movement was precisely calculated, each adjustment crucial for the upcoming catch attempt. Meanwhile, Starship itself was soaring higher, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. The views it sent back were breathtaking. Our planet's curved horizon set against the infinite black of space. For those brief moments, everyone watching felt connected to something greater than themselves. But space exploration is never without its challenges. At eight minutes and 30 seconds into the flight, something unexpected occurred. 
the ship's signal was lost. The same vessel that had just performed a perfect hot staging maneuver that had pushed beyond Earth's atmosphere with unprecedented grace had encountered an anomaly. The space community held its collective breath. Yet even as attention turned to the ship's fate, the booster was completing its historic return. Using just three engines for its final descent, the massive rocket aligned itself with the launch tower's catch arms, a feat akin to threading a needle while riding a hurricane. The precision required for this maneuver cannot be overstated. Imagine parking a 230-foot tall building using only rocket engines. Then it happened. Mechazilla has caught the booster! The announcement sent waves of excitement through the crowd. For only the second time in history, SpaceX had successfully caught a super heavy booster using the launch tower's mechanical arms. This achievement alone would have made Flight 7 historic, but it was just one part of this incredible story. The contrasts of this mission tell a larger tale about the nature of progress in space exploration. While the booster's catch was a triumph of precision engineering and controlled flight, the loss of Starship reminds us that the path to the stars is never easy. Each setback provides valuable data, each success builds upon previous failures, and every flight brings us closer to our goals. The engineering team will now begin their meticulous analysis of the flight data. Every second of telemetry, every signal received, every measurement taken will be scrutinized to understand exactly what happened during those final moments of Starship's flight. This isn't just about finding what went wrong, it's about making sure it doesn't happen again. This mission has already provided invaluable insights into several critical technologies. The hot staging technique, which had never been attempted at this scale before, the booster catch system, which proved its reliability, and the overall flight profile, which pushed the boundaries of what's possible with current technology. Looking ahead, the implications of today's flight are profound. The successful booster catch demonstrates that SpaceX's vision of rapid reusability is more than just a dream. It's becoming reality. Even with the loss of the ship, the data gathered from this flight will inform improvements that make future missions even more capable and reliable. For the teams at SpaceX, this is more than just a test flight. It's another step toward making humanity a multiplanetary species. Each launch, each landing, each success, and yes, each failure, brings us closer to that goal. The dedication of the engineers, technicians, and support staff who make these missions possible is a testament to human determination and ingenuity. As we process the events of Flight 7, one thing becomes clear. This is not a setback, but rather a stepping stone. The successful hot staging, the precise booster control, and the second ever catch are achievements that will be remembered in the history of spaceflight. These successes, combined with the valuable data from the ship's final moments, will pave the way for Flight 8 and beyond. The story of Starship Flight 7 is more than just a technical narrative. It's a reminder that the greatest achievements in human history have always come with challenges to overcome. As the sun set over Starbase, teams were already beginning to prepare for the next test flight, carrying with them the lessons learned today and the unwavering determination to push the boundaries of what's possible. SpaceX's journey continues, and with each flight, whether it ends in triumph or teaches us something new through failure, we move closer to a future where the stars are within our reach. The next chapter in this incredible story is already being written, and you can be sure we'll be here to bring it to you as it unfolds. The story of Flight 7 shows us that every giant leap toward the stars comes with both triumphs and challenges. While we celebrate the incredible achievement of catching that massive booster, a feat that seemed impossible just months ago, we're also eager to see what lessons this flight teaches us about Starship's journey to orbit. In the coming days, SpaceX's engineering teams will be working around the clock to analyze the data from this historic flight. What they learn will shape the future of space exploration, and you can count on Elon Musk 24 hours to bring you the latest developments as they unfold. If you're as excited as we are about humanity's journey to become a multi-planetary species, make sure you're part of our growing community. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our in-depth coverage of SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on today's flight. We'd love to hear your theories about what the data might reveal.
Remember to share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who appreciate the incredible engineering and determination that goes into each Starship test. Together, we're witnessing history in the making, one flight at a time. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, keeping you connected to humanity's greatest adventure. Stay curious, stay inspired, and we'll see you in the next video. Three days ago, every space enthusiast calendar was marked for January 10th. The anticipation was building for SpaceX's Starship Flight 7, a launch that promised to push the boundaries of space exploration even further. But as the saying goes in the space industry, the only thing more reliable than gravity is a schedule change. When you're dealing with the most complex machines humanity has ever built, perfection isn't just a goal, it's a requirement. Each Starship contains millions of components, all of which need to work in perfect harmony. One small deviation, one tiny miscalculation, and years of work could literally go up in smoke. That's why SpaceX's latest announcement about Flight 7's delay isn't just another setback, it's a testament to their commitment to getting everything right. Elon Musk confirmed that we're looking at a three to four day postponement, potentially targeting January 13th or 14th. But here's what makes this delay different. It's not just about waiting longer, it's about witnessing history in the making. For the first time ever, Flight 7 will carry something extraordinary, a reused Raptor engine from Flight 5. This isn't just about launching a rocket. It's about revolutionizing how we access space. Every delay, every meticulous check, every careful validation brings us one step closer to making space travel as routine as air travel. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the race to make humanity multi-planetary. Let's dive right in. The story of Flight 7 begins not with its delay, but with a moment that changed the trajectory of spaceflight forever. Back in October, as the world watched with bated breath, SpaceX achieved something unprecedented. They caught Super Heavy Booster 12 with the mechanical precision of Mechazilla's arms. It was a feat that many had dismissed as impossible, a dance between steel and gravity that pushed the boundaries of engineering to their absolute limits. But success in the space industry isn't measured by single achievements. It's measured by what comes next. While Booster 12 won't fly again, its legacy lives on in something far more significant. Raptor Pi, engine number 314, a piece of hardware that's about to make history twice. This engine, which helped power that historic catch, has been carefully extracted, meticulously inspected, and is now ready to roar back to life on Booster 14. The journey to Flight 7 has been a masterclass in precision engineering. In late December 2024, both Booster 14 and Starship S-33 underwent their cryogenic proof tests. Picture this, tanks filled with liquid nitrogen at temperatures so cold they'd freeze air solid, testing every weld, every seal, every connection. It's a brutal test that separates the merely good from the exceptional, and both vehicles passed with flying colors. But the real drama unfolded on January 3, 2025. 33 Raptor engines, including our historic Raptor Pi, ignited simultaneously during Booster 14's static fire test. The ground shook, the air itself seemed to vibrate, and for a brief moment, the combined power of these engines, enough to lift a small city, was unleashed while the booster remained firmly anchored to Earth. Two days later, S-33 completed its own static fire test, a single engine burning bright against the Texas sky, proving it was ready for its journey to the stars. The preparation for Flight 7 reads like a symphony of technology and human ingenuity. The hot staging ring, a critical component that choreographs the dangerous dance of stage separation, was reinstalled on Booster 14 after intensive inspection. This isn't just about making sure two pieces of metal come apart. It's about ensuring they separate perfectly while traveling at speeds that would cross the continental United States in minutes. Then there's the payload, the next generation of Starlink satellites. Early January saw these technological marvels being integrated into S-33's payload bay. The engineering team didn't just install them, they tested and retested the revolutionary PEZ dispenser mechanism 
designed to deploy these satellites with clockwork precision. Each satellite represents not just a piece of hardware, but a promise of connectivity to some of the most remote corners of our planet. The logistics of moving these giants is a story in itself. On January 8th and 9th, 2025, roads were cleared, traffic stopped, and two of the most advanced vehicles ever built made their careful journey to the orbital launch mount. It's a reminder that even in the age of interplanetary ambition, we still need to deal with the simple challenge of moving very large objects down very normal roads. As we approach the new launch window, potentially January 13th or 14th, every system is being scrutinized. The flight path itself is a testament to SpaceX's ambitious vision. A suborbital trajectory